Capricorns, you guys have an opportunity over the next four to six weeks to make a big change. Now, this is for those of you who already did the research. You know what direction you want to go. You know who you're dealing with. You know all the facts already, but you may not have taken action. Maybe you did take action, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, but you put it on hold for some reason. Let's take a look at what's coming between mid-June to mid-July and a little bit beyond. So I hope you guys are doing well because the energy is vibrating very high. Now that doesn't mean you aren't going to be a little bit tired. Some of you, of course, you're going to be a little bit tired, especially if you're working a lot. But making sure that you're getting adequate sleep, adequate uh, nutrition and vital information. That's what I just heard for you. So if you don't know who I am, I'm LA, uh, Loria Gonzalez, and I am here with my guides. Uh, today is Archangel Michael and my father, deceased loved one, is with us today as well, giving these messages. I'll give the final channeled message from Archangel Michael at the end. But we're really looking at you starting a new beginning where, again, I'm, I believe you guys have already created a plan or at least the basic steps to what's going on in your life. Whether this is about changing career paths, starting a new job, a new relationship, even relocation. Okay, I feel some of you have been taking action and you've done this initial work research and you're getting ready to feel this um you're gonna feel a nudge if this is you you will over the next four to six weeks you're gonna feel a nudge you're gonna feel a force uh but it's a light soft push like do it do it <laughs> and that is your angelic team around you trying to help you grow in your own life but this was a big feat is what i'm being told for some of you you went through a lot to get there these changes are, represent everything who you are today, your authentic self, Capricorn, who you really were. If you were one of the people who lost your identity, and that's so easy to do, just working all the time or having children, when we put more energy and effort into something outside of ourselves, we can often lose sight of who we are. And so it's like you had to get that back. You had to bring all that stuff back. So this is like the rewards of what you've been doing. Now, the overall card that you got is the beautiful judgment card. This is going to be a last decision to take this leap of faith in whatever it is. Now, we're going to take a look at your a little bit at career and the people around you because I do see that some of you this stop this holding pattern has to do with somebody around you this particular person around you may be really wearing you out okay so just go and do some meditation and try and block this individual out if they are in your everyday surrounding. If they're in your mind, this may be somebody who triggered you into your spiritual awakening and now their memory is coming back and you're thinking of them all the time and wondering, are they coming back? Why am I thinking of them? It has to do with this, not necessarily them. They come back after we've accomplished our goal, right? So if you are walking in your soul's purpose, then they may very well be coming back at the same time. It's a very positive message where they want you to redefine the boundaries that are around you when it comes to people, but they also want you to reassess your plans, whatever you were planning on doing. Now let's take a look at career education and if there's a project, if you don't work, or you are retired, there's no career there, this would be your project, whatever you're putting your energy and effort into. Um, and for some of you, this definitely has to do with a uh, career. Uh, it's like a new business, okay? And they aren't showing me the specific new business, so I feel for a lot of Capricorn, you guys may be looking at starting a business or changing the business that you already own. Um, yeah, some secrets being hidden, something you had hidden, something you tucked away for a later day is what I just heard. You tucked it away for a later day and they rhymed it. That was my dad. Um, th it's time to pull it out. And if you don't see it right now, look at the full moon. All right. Look at the full moon because it is going to be a walloper one. Everything we're doing up to this point 
is everywhere we're going in the future. So if we go past July and we haven't taken that action, it can actually cause a backwards effect. So you want to make sure you're taking action. And that doesn't mean to stop what you're doing and open it up and it's not ready yet. It means making sure that you are taking all the action steps towards getting this ready, towards making those changes, whatever it may be. Some of you have a un, they were saying unhidden, it's, it's a undisclosed, unknown talent that you are going to be seeing very, very soon. And through this unseen talent, you're gonna find your soul's purpose. Now, when we walk in our soul's purpose, things seem to kind of flow. Everything just kind of flows better. Everything works better. It doesn't mean you don't have start and stop, you do. You actually do. Because there may be a different direction you need to turn or you may need to find more research. There's a reason behind all of it for each of us as an individual. Whatever this is in your business, if this is it, you have a choice to make and that choice is going to lead to the outcome of what you've been anticipating. And it's like the unexpected is really good. Like it's so much better than you actually thought. Now, some of you, you may work in the industry of law. All right. We do have the justice card here talking about, we could be talking about karmic justice for sure. But what they're telling me is you work in the industry of law. You may be an attorney or a judge, but it is time to, mm, you're very, very busy. Very, very, very busy. So it's like an overflow. It looks like one of those um, sitcoms, you know, where the courtroom is just filled with tons of people. Whatever is going on in that realm, you have an opportunity to grow, but you're going to need to make a decision when it comes to this, all right? You can stay in the way that you've been doing it, or you can change the dynamic of the way that you're handling it to make it more efficient, to make it more thorough in a faster pace. I don't know what that means. Let us know if that means anything to you, but that's definitely what I'm hearing if you work in the judicial system any place in that particular area. Some of you are making a new decision on where you want to live. Now this could have an offer behind it. It may very well be an offer, but you are being prompted to take action. <laughs> and that's what the whole reading is about, is taking action. So this is going for that project, going for the career, going for an investment with your finances, doing something that you believe inside is actually in your best interest. And you are going to get that help as long as you've done the research and you have faith. Faith is the key, key to every solution of anything that we're trying to manifest. If you don't believe it, it won't happen. If you have unresolved uh, inner value issues, you will block abundance. You will push jobs away. You will push romance away because there's this undescribed underneath us, this feeling of not being worthy, not being good enough. They won't want me. Everybody rejects me that kind of a thing. But most of you have kind of come out of that. If you haven't booked a session with me before they are uh, removed, okay? But uh, before I take them down, I'll be closing out my personal services, except for people who are already clients. Um, but the point is, it's time to make a decision that works for you in that area of your life. And, and they're really showing me a lot of web lines, okay? So obviously, if this is finance, it covers your rent, it covers your food, it covers travel, it covers health, it, it's everything. And that's what they're showing me is like a line, a lot of lines coming from this decision that you're going to be making. So it, it, it's like this action moves the energy around you. Just like when I ask you to post a comment, that moves the energy around you in my readings. I can't attest for anyone else, only mine and what I'm being guided to do with you guys to help you achieve higher levels in your life. It isn't just about the zodiac sign and we all know that it's not the cards that have the power. It's not the cards that hold the message, but they are part of the messenger giving that information, right? So there's no power in it behind whatever you're looking at 
It's the fact that you understand how to use it. Now that's what your guides just said. Okay. So let's take a look at your family and friends because again, I really feel that for some of you, whoever this is, you may be moving to go meet them. I'm seeing Italy. I'm seeing Europe. I'm seeing Ireland. Um, so some of you, let us know if that's you. Are you relocating? Are you going to go live with a family or a friend? Because that's what this is saying. There's somebody in a country. Uh, it looks like a country. It's a very far away land, a different land, meaning like different language. The way that they function is very, very different. But oh my gosh, look what came out. <laughs> you have the Wheel of Fortune, you have Destiny, and you have the Ace of Pentacles. That's what I'm talking about. So those of you who are planning on relocating, wow, make sure you have done your research, okay? If you didn't, stop, research it, and then get back in there. But take the action toward this move. It's going to be very, very good. Now, I am seeing that the other person is extending this opportunity to you. That doesn't mean you can't ask, hey, look, I'd love to come out. Can I stay with you? You can, and if it feels right to you. But I am being shown that the person is saying, hey, come and stay with us. Come and, come and be here with us. Come to the city we're in. Doesn't mean under their roof necessarily. That'll be unique to each and every one of you. But there is something very, very positive. There's also something about this individual that has a lightness to it. Almost like they walk in the light themselves. They may have a beautiful aura around them they may carry the beautiful spirits with them the guided messages are always coming through this person there's a beautiful energy around this individual so pay very close attention you're planning something all right and if you're planning on travel again especially if it's with a king of swords now it can be the zodiac sign of libra gemini aquarius but the King of Swords is somebody who is very intelligent, extremely intelligent. They may work in the law, which I brought up a little while ago, Capricorn. They may be an attorney or a judge, work in the judicial system, a police officer, work in the IT industry. Again, I just feel that this person is a leader. They are a leader, so they may own their own business and asking you to come and work for them in a different location, and it is going to be very rewarding for you to do it. Now, the ultimate goal here is the Fool card, right? That's what we're talking about, taking action. The Fool card, in general, means taking a leap of faith. Now, we take a leap of faith when we've done the research and even sometimes we take a leap of faith when we haven't if we have not done the research and we're taking that big jump across from the the cliff and jumping then we may wind up landing in an area or in a way that is not beneficial for us but the research behind it knowing where you're going let's say you are going to a different country and again please post that in the comments we want to hear it or if you want to do this let's get the energy moving around our beautiful capricorns abundance that's what i'm seeing coming in is abundance right we want you to have what you have what you want and what you need when you need it now the fool is either foolish or the fool the foolish one is the one who does no research who doesn't check who doesn't look up the country of where they're going to to see what the cost of let's say all of your life functioning things are rent and water utilities etc the fool researches it and says okay i'll get it when i get there the fool just goes they don't look it up they don't know there's a housing shortage they don't know where they're going to go so they're flying by the seat of their pants but yet super excited because they just took this big leap so it's up to you how you want to take it because there is a danger zone obviously uh, attached to either side but when we don't do the research it can wind up being very, um, they're saying the word devastating. So make sure you're doing the research around wherever you're moving to, whatever project, even if it's a relationship, make sure you're doing the research. Because if this is a person that you had struggles with, if this is a person you had challenges with in the past, you have to make sure that they are no longer like that. Or that you are not like that. And you can do that by doing your own research. 
book a session with me or your favorite energy healer, Reiki master, you will be doing quite well. For those of you who feel blocked, let's get your chakras opened up. All right, let me read this last message and then I'll give you the message from Archangel Michael, okay? Your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and your mind. Well, you see, you can't take that leap of faith unless this is already done. And so you have the help of the beautiful, unseen, spiritual realm around you. This is the universe around you. These are the, the, the unseen, but yet very felt energies and this energy shift is part of it and this is a big one so let's see what archangel michael wants you to know okay you've devoted your life towards helping others mostly through a way that also helps you there's nothing wrong with that, and that's actually how you were created underneath your zodiac sign. However, there comes a point in time where you have to set yourself aside and make sure you're doing it for the better good of everyone around you. Taking action is a good move as long as you know where you're going. Ask us to guide you, to show you the little synchronistic moves on how to get to where you're going. If you are relocating, if you are moving, if you are changing your job, if you are changing your ways of life, and most of all, the way you think, call on us and we will show you how to get from where you are to where you want to go. Remember, your mind holds the power to make any change that you want. We are the reinforcement behind your mind. Call upon us and we'll help you change. So I hope that that helps you. Thank you uh, and have a wonderful day. Much love.